in academic writing often we are required to paraphrase a piece of text that we want to include in our paper or dissertation or thesis and often this concept of trying to rewrite a piece using different words without distorting the original meaning could be very tasking, could be very challenging. In fact, it could also be very time consuming, especially when we are trying to avoid uh, plagiarism, which is uh, copying an original piece without having to um, tweak the words a little, distort the use of words, your synonyms uh, that are within the registers and jargons of a particular body of learning. In this piece, I want to share with you AI tools that are ideal for paraphrasing and the beautiful part is I would only be discussing with you tools that have um, MS Word integration. And you can also use it in a Google Word doc. That is AI models, AI tools that can help you with paraphrasing while you are working within the MS Word environment or within the Google Doc environment. But before we go into it, I want to begin with saying that paraphrasing is the process of rephrasing or rewriting a piece of text using different words and sentence structures in so much that these words and sentence structures still retain the original meaning of, of the idea and original message concept and information stays intact but the words are altered to present differently it is an integral part of academic writing you use it to write your paper to write your thesis and your dissertation and i will be um, sharing with you six tools that are av available in MS Word that can do this just right for you. I'll begin with the first one, Paper Powell, a freemium to, uh, tool. It is available on, on Word document and it has the ability to paraphrase, to um, check the technicality of your writing, even help you with citation, help you with some level of search and it has some free version and a paid version. Then we'll have um, Writeful. It's also a paraphrasing tool with a word integration that can help you paraphrase, change your use of words, maintain the registers and jargons within a particular field. We have Quillbot and um, Grammarly and Linguis and Trinka. All of these beautiful AI tools are ideal for paraphrasing. They are designed for paraphrasing and they are just right in your Word document or in your um, Google Doc. And you can just get to the integration path and you begin to use it within your writing. In this video, I am sharing first how to get them on board, how to get them integrated to your workspace and how you get to call them up and use them while you are writing your paper. I will be using a paper example to walk around this and communicate this idea beautifully so that you could pick it up and begin to get to use it in your work. Let's get into it. So here is a piece of writing and we want to pull up some paraphrasing tool to help with our paraphrasing uh, while we are avoiding the issue of plagiarism. Now, if you're using Word 2016 and above, you would find this just on the home tab. And if you're using a lesser version, you would find it in the insert tab. So if you're using Word uh, 2010, 2013, you'll find it somewhere around here in the insert 
uh, uh, tab, but if you're using Word 2016 and 2019, 2020, or 365, once you're within the home tab, you would the home ribbon, you would find these within the ribbon, add-ins. Add-ins allow you to access Microsoft Store to get on all the different plugins that are available that can help supercharge your writing within the Word document space. And so you click on that tab, and if you have the names of all the different models, tools, aids, assistant write-up or writing tools that are available, you could just search for the name. For example, I want to search for the first one, Paper Pal. Paper Pal, I mentioned to you, it's a beautiful AI model that has a web version and a word integration that is gingered and written, designed exactly for academic writing. Of course, once you hover around it, it will tell you what it is for. And once you click on it, you can just um, install it on your device and it comes up here. So I already have Paper Pal installed here and also have Writeful. I can just go, this is how I find Writeful, just type Writeful and you will find that friend, beautiful AI model designed for paraphrasing. And I want some more. I want um, the friend called um, Trinka. Trinka is a beautiful AI model for grammar check, for paraphrasing. And since I don't have it before, I'll just click on add. And the model would quickly get installed and add up to my device. And so somewhere there, I have that model add up and I want to find more. So if you're just looking for, you don't have the names, you want to look for general models and how to use them, just get to these add-ins and all of the add-ins available in the store would pop up. Uh, you, want, you don't want it for communication, you want it for references and for education purposes. So you could just click here if you're looking for add-ins that would help you write and help you do a number of things around education. So this is Squill Boy here, and it is for writing. I have Outright also, an AI model that is a writing, writing assistant. I can just click to add, click to add, and click to add. Once you click to add, it will pop up this way. So this is Squill Boy. I have um, Paper Pal. I have Writeful. And it is opening up its paraphrasing, uh, paraphraser almost immediately. But I see once more, I want a writing assistant. There is a beautiful one called writing assistant. Uh, uh, I can just put it up there. And if it's available, it will show up here. Writing assistant is available. I can just add it to my device. And all the ones I add, this is all they are. Writing assistant has just popped up. Um, this is, is coming up already. And if I want more, 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 uh, what other one do I want? Um, I mentioned, okay, Quill Boy is now here. Uh, Ref and Write is here. Trinka is here. Writeful is here. Writing assistant is here. I want linguist. I just go somewhere there and I type linguist and linguist would come up. It is a great tool if you are um, writing a business related paper, economics, finance, and all the rest. If you're writing a business related paper, uh, linguist forward is your very important tool. It maintains the registers and the jargons and the technical terms that are related to business and business papers and these are beautiful ai models ai tools within your writing space and you can just sign up sign in and they are available within where you are writing your paper and you can get to use it so let's get to the first one paper pal and see what it can do how we can use them to supercharge the business of paraphrasing how you could use it to uh, paraphrase a right. Oh, for the first time, you need to sign in. It is popping up here because I have already um, signed up for this uh, or on this model. So once I open it, it grabs 
my tool, it graphs what I'm writing. So it works after you've written, say, three, four, five paragraphs, you turn it open, and once you turn it open, it will read through all that you have done. And when it reads through, it will point you to where you need to paraphrase, where you need to cite if you have not cited properly, where you need to change the use of words, where you um, need to check the grammar, the concord, and um, the syntax you have used if, um, uh, for example, the language you're writing in is not your first language. Say you are um, a French speaker and you're writing in English, more often than not, you would have... Uh, problems with concord with, with um, uh, syntax and with semantics of the word and uh, this model could help you fix all of that and so it has looked at all of what I have written out here and it has pointed some things it says wave functions uh, put it as two words so it is somewhere here in my first paragraph it has pointed something why don't why am I writing wave function as um, one word why not two words and it, it allows you to um, either accept it correction or reject the correction okay um, in physics we use wave functions as one word so I would reject that correction and go to the next this is the next correction it has there um that it says all of that all of that all of that so am i want do i want to use this paraphrasing ability Remember i said this model can do a whole lot these are all the things it could do it could help you write it could um cite your work you can research what you have written and for example it wants to research that and see if i have cited it properly if i click on that it would research this word it will go to the web and um, look at these words, look at the way I've used it, and tell me if I have cited it properly. Oh, I need to mention to you that to use Paper Pal, you need your device needs to be online because it will need to access some document online to help you cite your work properly. At the moment, it is searching a number of papers. It wants to cite this word for me. Uh, I have cited it, but it wants to see if this citation is correct so it's going to search the web it's making it a, a very good search when it's done it will tell me if i have cited this properly in doing that it is uh it's borrowing a leaf from arrow discovery arrow discovery is a tool that help you find a related paper in one of our previous videos i shared with you how to use arrow discovery so um size space is integrating with arrow discovery to help find if this word or sentence is properly cited it's going to do some, some take some time i uh, will wait for it um somewhere here you can translate with this model say i want to write this paper in um espanol or in french or in mandarin and uh, maybe a journal i'm submitting to wants the write up in a different language this model can help me do just all of that this is um for english checks and all of that so this model is a very beautiful tool when they want to paraphrase when they want to cite and when they want to check for words and let's quickly go to the next tool right full once you click on right full it's going to ask you to sign in that way and once you sign in it takes hold of your your work and begin to paraphrase so you could sign in that way if you not signed in and uh this is writing assistance it also needs a sign in and um that is linguist it also need a sign -in. so let me sign on, sign on all of them and then show you how to get to use them so within the right full space once you've logged in you will have this platform this drop down that allows you to um check paragraphs, check the whole document, generate on any topic we write and all of that. So if I work on any of them, say I want to work on this paragraph, I just highlight the paragraph and rewrite is, is paraphrase. So I'll just click on rewrite and it will do just that for me. So I would say paraphrase. So it will look at all of these and give me a quick paraphrase. There you go. Um, instead of um, 
saying the concept of very face is saying I should just say the very face introduced by that, 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 that. Introduced by that, that refers to um, that, 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 that. And so all of the parts it is um, crossing out are the parts that um, makes my write up weak and I should change up characteristics of materials and underpins. So that's the characteristics of materials. Don't need to put all of that playing a crucial role in numerals um, that such as instead of including um, instead of using all of these I could just write all of these and so he's asking do you want me to um, integrate into your work once you click on integrate to change what you have here and put this so if you are okay with the corrections it it's trying to make you can just click on that and this has changed up beautiful paraphrasing so this is a whole new paraphrased, uh, well paraphrased write-up within the jargons of your writing. And so you can do that for the second paragraph and do that for the third paragraph. And your works are paraphrased. The use of words are now correctly placed together. This is how you use these beautiful AI models to paraphrase your work, rewrite your work, make them very meaningful. And um, if I go assistant the same thing the same whole process this is that highlight and if you want a paraphrasing you want to click on write if you want a grammar check you can do this if you want it to continue so i will rewrite i'll just hit on rewrite and this model will look at all of what is here and um, tell you how to put it properly the very phrase introduced by that that is the geometric phase that a system acquires instead of gain acquires when I mean, all of that, all of that, typically refers to the all of that, all of that, all of that. And again, if I am okay with what it has paraphrased here, I could just say replace. And again, it will replace this. And I am refining this work very beautifully. And it is giving me a lot more um, very enhanced write-up. It's giving me... Um, a very logical rise up that is within academic publication and acceptable in academic writing. Now, this is how you get to use these beautiful tools para to paraphrase. And you click on them, just highlight what you want to paraphrase, go to paragraph two, do the same whole G's, and it turns your write up into um, a publication ready document. This is how you use different AI models integrated into your Word document to paraphrase your work and make them publication ready. Now, once you do this, um, turn it in, would not have any issue with this because this has correctly been paraphrased. And um, even if you had picked some word from an AI generator, which is not the very good use of AI, this tool can humanize it for you and um, remove the elements of AI writing from your piece of manuscript or, or your, your writing. And if you want to start using AI models that could help paraphrase your work, uh, there are plenty of them, but this six allows you to paraphrase within your um, Word document. You don't need to go somewhere there to copy and paste. You just, while you're writing, you click, you check your work and the paraphrasing is done just right away. Don't forget that AI is a tool and like every tool, it is not to replace your ability to write, your ability to think, your ability to add, or add your voice or bring your insight into writing. So when you're using any AI model, just be sure that you are um, intentional about it. You are looking at what it is giving you and it is not going off point because, of course, every AI model has the strong ability or the strong uh, uh, um, tendency to hallucinate. And so you don't want to hallucinate and um, destroy the message you are trying to pass in your writing. But go try all of this out. Just go to your add-in, speak up all of these different tools and see how to use them in your academic writing. Till next time. Don't forget that academic writing can be easy, can be fast within the right set of academic tools.